evening. I am Chris, 2020-2021, President of Sebastopol FFA. Graduates, please remain standing. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the national anthem, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated and please welcome Julia Golden to the stage. faculty, and the class of 2021. My name is Julia Golden, Anlai High School's 2020-2021 Associated Student Body President, and I would like to welcome you all to Anlai High School's long-awaited and anticipated 111th graduation ceremony. Today is the day that marks the end of our high school years a day and a celebration that means more than we could have ever imagined after the past year and a half. I'm honored to represent all of you as we sit in front of the people that have supported and strengthened us throughout the past four years. As the chapter of our lives that is high school comes to a close, I want to wish you all the best as you continue to write your own individual stories. Congratulations on all your achievements at Anley in our community. I hope you are all proud of your accomplishments. Everyone here knows that our past four years have been nothing short of special and interesting. But, hey class of 2021, we made it. And now I would like to welcome our first student commencement speaker, Nicholas Brandt, with Despite the Interruptions. Thank you.
Welcome, cherished family, dear friends, board of trustees members, Kelly Noe and Jeannie Fernandez, principal Shauna Ferdinandson, distinguished faculty and staff, community members, and of course, graduates. Welcome all to Annalee's in-person commencement ceremony for 2021 graduates. It is so nice to see all your faces here today. My name is Nicholas Brandt, and I feel truly honored and a little scared to speak on behalf of my class today. I have this observation about how our time at Annalee has played out. Each year, the number of crazy events increases by one. Freshman year, some students lost their homes, and our community grappled with a new reality, the Tubbs fire one crazy event. Sophomore year, we gagged in the smoke of some, luckily this time, more distant fires, and my dad kayaked over a bridge in Sebastopol one morning. The campfire and a flooded Sebastopol, two crazy events. Junior year, of course, the fires continued, and we all have a fun, oh my god, it's 4.30 in the morning, oh my god, I have to evacuate right now, story to tell for it. Later on, some of us slept in and others brought donuts in, in respect of our teachers striking for their salaries. However, the third crazy event of our junior year is, well, you know. So fires, strikes, and the other thing, three crazy events. Our senior year had its own Blade Runner looking skies, naturally, but then, I don't know, we had like infinity crazy events to add on for the pandemic. Suffice to say, it's just gotten a little crazier. Every day. Just back to junior year, it was a break, and we were lucky enough to get a break. Of course, that's getting a break. The rest of the semester, I'm where I was. Some ideas and some. really annoying and fevered. That And over a year, crazy enough. Which could be like this. Ceremony isn't that usual, but frankly, a point is we so that makes us The only a modern, but wait, you know, years ago, I lived through the Spanish flu. Never got Fortunately, I was in the yearbook in the influenza era. And I don't know. I we had freshman which was But vacation? I can't say we were on. Only two mentions of influence. So, yeah, with our class is on accident. We're the first to take a year off of regular schooling, little school year. Attended serial meetings. We're on a mattress and I've been cruel and on you. Sorry. Run on cross country. I've been concerts, getting used. I've games and books. I've been 
feeding out too many seconds to count and what makes all memories and graduation one community of family. I'd like to recognize the teachers I've had. Mr. Trevino, the math mom of Unwavering as lovingly gave you a man on the reader. <laughs> Mr. Fett, you were subjecting the moment of the family. In a negotiation, pushing everyone to making a year long in April. Mr. Sickle, that's so sarcastic and hilarious. For getting in a little with us in the last project that turned out great. Thank you for making the best of this crazy year for unapologetic dubstep. Teaching at mock speed, yelling a ton, and having on time with Kepula. Miss Ambrose, thank you for getting Nicholas Brandt here, going to computer science history, and for being a great person to talk to. And Mr. Miller, Thank you for being such a fun guy. And to all the teachers I didn't mention, thank you just as much for making Annalee the quirky and fun place it is today, for teaching well throughout these hectic times and throughout all our years at Annalee. And Mark, yeah, I'm sorry, give it up for them. <laughs> And Mark, my amazing cross-country coach, thank you for giving me a lifetime skill, for somehow convincing me that running for five miles is a fun thing to do in your free time. And my parents, and all the parents present here, thank you for sitting through entire sports games and meets on these bleachers just to cheer us on, for watching our concerts and productions through to the end and for begrudgingly paying for a shiny new calculator, or the quote-unquote required donation for sports. And to the parents who religiously checked Aries, or who often stayed up late to help their students through assignments, or who were holding their breath to see whether they'd be here today, thank you just as much. We all appreciate the support our parents have given us, even if they don't show it. And our class, well, our class is all over the place. In a good way. I know a bunch of really smart people, and I know a bunch of really chill people. I know a bunch of really fun people. And most people I know here are a great combination of these traits. Our campus might have been the set for 13 reasons why, but we're anything but the stereotypical high school on TV. It's not that hard to be better than Liberty High School. <laughs> but something about Annalie is so Annalie. We may have cliques, but they're never exclusive cliques. I'd say I don't know any of the cool kids, but I think it's more that Annalie is so inclusive, anyone can be the cool kid if they want. I mean, in what other school will you find an AP obsessed, gay, yearbook photographing, production acting, cross country running nerd as the prom king? <laughs> it's hard to articulate exactly what it is, but something about the Annalise students, teachers, and staff is so incredibly special. I might be a little biased, but Annalise is easily the best high school community I know. And this is the first time our class has been all together on the Annalise campus since junior year. If you're anything like me, the fact that we're graduating right now is still processing and will be for a while. So I'd like to repeat some wisdom Mr. Wilson imparted on my class before saying goodbye. Take a moment, actually, take this moment to take in graduation and to take in this community because this ceremony will be over real quick. Look around at your fellow classmates, at your teachers, at your family, and appreciate the beauty of this gathering. 
despite the numerous interruptions, we're here today. Our class made it. And I know so many people going to so many different amazing places after we graduate and step into the next chapters of our lives, from wonderful college matriculations to sports or job offers to simply taking a year off. I'm overjoyed and honored to be among the final graduating class of Annalise students, the class of 2021. Thank you. Please welcome to the stage Annalee Leadership Representative Austin Welsh to speak on behalf of the class of 1971. family, and the class of 2021. My name is Austin Welsh, and I'm an Annalee High School leadership student. And one of the best parts of being in leadership is creating opportunities for students to make memories. And while we didn't have a typical senior year full of fun memories like the homecoming dance, Friday night football games, and day on the green, we will still be able to fondly reminisce on these last four years, much like the students who attended before us. For those of you who have attended Annalee previously, you may recognize the same buildings and murals around campus when you visit. Many of the traditions that were special to you continue to be important and special to us. Keeping with our tradition, we would like to recognize and honor the graduating class of 1971, who participated in a ceremony very similar to this one 50 years ago. In 1971, President Richard Nixon was in office. Minimum wage was $1.60 an hour and gas costed 36 cents per gallon. The number one Billboard Top 100 single of the year was Joy to the World by Three Dog Night, Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory premiered, and Walt Disney World opened their doors for the very first time. The world has changed a lot since 1971, but in the past 50 years, Annalee Tiger Pride has only grown. We would now like to recognize this class as well as all the alumni in the audience. From our class to yours, thank you for your continued support. Joining us tonight from the class of 1971 is Judy Gooden. Judy, would you please stand as Julia brings you a special gift from our class to yours? Thank you. I would now like to welcome Mia Wesselcamper to the stage. Wesselcamper, and I am honored to help us acknowledge the students who have achieved academic excellence during their four years at Annalee High School. The California Scholarship Federation is a nonprofit organization that recognizes academic excellence of high school students. Tonight, the seniors wearing gold stools qualified for a 100% lifetime membership by maintaining their rigorous academic standing over the last six semesters. Seniors wearing gold cords qualified as CSF life members or seal bearers. These students have demonstrated academic excellence for at least four semesters, with at least one semester during their senior year. Seniors, when your name is called, please stand at your seat and remain standing until all names have been called. Audience, please hold your applause until all names have been called. The Annalee High School California Scholarship Federation members are Ethan Arrington, Andrew Barnett, Danielle Bangs, Emma Bowen, Samantha Bowman, Nicholas Brandt, 
Bianca Cervantes, Vicente Chavez, Sarah Elliott, Colin Elliott, Josh Erickson, Julia Golden, Lauren Graham, Michael Hardesty, Rachel Harris, Ramses Hernandez, Luce Hernandez Sandoval, Fiona Irvingbeck, Daniel Judd, Nick Kramer, June Labardet, Nicholas Lee, Alex Leopard, Ethan Logan, Ekaterina Lynch, Elena Malpica Vargas, Bridget McLarnan, Kaylee McGowan, Madeline Miller, Natalie Miller, Kimberly Navarrete, Priska Niedermeyer, Estrella Pacheco, Molly Parks, Max Pinecoffer, Meredith Poten, Zoe Reed, Alicia Roberts, Julia Simol, Nikaya Scott, Talia Shorts, Ian Shine, Ella Silvestrich, Olivia Van Dyke, Pema Vasallo, Emily Voigt, Leela Weber, and Mia Wesselkamper. They made me say it. <laughs> Audience, please give our CSF honorees a round of applause. I would now like to introduce Ekaterina Lynch to the stage to give her speech, Playing a Life of Certainty. My barn has burned. I can see the moon. This Japanese proverb is my family's mantra whenever challenging circumstances arise. It reminds me to be positive and focus on moving forward towards new opportunities. Burn barns signal fire and tragedy, as our community can readily recall the destruction of Armstrong Woods and Sugarloaf State Park, yearly evacuations, and the Tubbs Fire. After all, our high school experience was filled with mind-boggling challenges beyond the normal high school experience. Not just the fires, of course, but flood, wind, pandemic in our respective barns. But shift your perspective just a bit and find out what a farmer knows inherently. After a barn burns, there is always space on the plane for something new. Experiences that occasionally rocked the core of our high school careers became almost comical commentary as we attended football games, crowded the quad, studied anxiously for tests, and perhaps without even noticing it, finding little bits of normalcy amidst the chaos. Like the proverb, we were helping each other see the moon. Alexander Solzhenitsyn, a great Soviet philosopher, writer, and Nobel laureate said that the only thing that truly belongs to you is that which cannot be taken away from you. So it quickly becomes clear that these so-called things cannot be tangible. Things must be forged so deeply within a person 
that it is impossible to extricate or steal. Our Annalee teachers and experiences have given us the very things that can never be taken away, our education and our character. You know, you get so lost in the routine of high school, tests, parties, running from class to class, and then suddenly you look up and you have one day of school left and high school is over. But now looking back, we can finally appreciate all the intangibles this school has given us. Now, I would love to introduce you to Karl Heinz Stockhausen, an eccentric composer who spearheaded the avant-garde in the 20th century. His constant drive for discovery cursed him with controversy because, let's face it, society inherently avoids the unfamiliar, as does each of us. Many of us leaving home for the first time, we step into this world of uncertainty. Who do you want to be? Where will you go? What will this newfound adult freedom allow? What might it prohibit? Now, Stockhausen scores are rather unusual. If I were to describe a music score, most people imagine black and white notation on a staff. But Stockhausen wrote one of his scores using absolutely no musical notation. In fact, it is in prose form, as if inviting all of us, musical or not, to be a part of the composition and performance process. I will read you a little piece of it as follows. Play a sound with the certainty that you have an infinite amount of time and space. Have you ever done something with certainty? Expecting is unlimited, doubt is crippling. Play a sound with certainty. When I first read this, I deeply questioned myself. Have I ever done something with complete conviction? How do I become a thing that plays with certainty? And while the prose belongs to Stockhausen, the question is ours to answer. Are we ready to live a life of complete conviction? After all, what a tragedy it would be to play a life without certainty. The way I see it, Stockhausen's imperative becomes the metaphorical moon in the Japanese proverb, representing potential for future discovery and conviction and opportunity. Because in a world recovering from hardship, we, the Annalee graduating seniors, have ensured that our characters are consistent towards a brilliant future. Because when we stop doubting ourselves, as Stockhausen shamelessly calls us out on, we can soar confidently into the world, trusting that what we have learned here at Annalee will guide our futures. So here we are, standing on a new plane, a plane that craves to be used and nurtured. But a plane is not a blank canvas. It is an imperfect field dotted with molehills, flower patches, and ashy traces of barns of the past. But if a red sun flooded, smoggy high school experience has taught us anything, it is that the future belongs to those who have the power to see beyond tragedy towards opportunity. Let us become the moon, and then we will never have to worry about looking for it. Thank you, and to all of us, congratulations. It is now my honor to introduce the Annalee Chamber Singers, directed by Andy Del Monte, followed by Amatil Ashley Heron with his speech, Beyond Words. Thank you.
Good afternoon and welcome to the parents, fa fra faculty, friends, the group of streakers trying to stay disguised in the crowd, and the graduating class of 2021. I'm Amatil and I'm honored to be speaking here today. Finally, after four years of attending classes, taking challenging tests, and completing our homework in the wee hours in the morning, we get to celebrate ourselves by sitting in these unflattering bathrobes under a baking sun, waiting for the moment this is all over. As we hear a phone book of names being read to us and are forced to listen to speeches we don't care about. But really, this is a very important moment in our lives. <laughs> it's the conclusion of one large chapter and the beginning of the next. It's hard to look over this group and over this school and not be sentimental. These graduates, our teachers, and this campus have been our lives for the past four years. Most of you probably remember your first days as a freshman stepping onto an unfamiliar campus surrounded by mostly unfamiliar faces. You probably have memories of seeing each other in hallways and in classes. We have memories of ducking past leaky roofs in the stairwell of the main building, and memories of leaky roofs in the other stairwell, and the library, and the small gym. And look, what I'm saying is this school and water don't get along very well. Still though, they somehow figured out how to prevent the pool from leaking, and some of my best memories come from those pool parties on those balmy summer nights. <sighs> those were the days. But really, how do you summarize a year like the one we just completed? A year of division, a year of protests, and a year engrossed by a deadly pandemic. And the truth is, I don't think it's possible to explain with words the struggles everyone has had this year. And I'd like to think I know good words. I may not, like Donald Trump, have, quote, the best words, but we can't all be perfect. But each person, each student, each parent, each teacher, everyone, has had their own personal struggle this year. Whether it be losing a job, losing a loved one, missing school, struggles with gender identity or racial injustices, or simply being isolated from those who matter most. There isn't a single person in attendance here today or watching at home who hasn't faced difficulties. Trying to relate to and describe that individual struggle is an impossible task. I mean, of course, we don't have words for these times and for this group, but allow me to take a stab at finding some words, even if they aren't exactly the right ones. As I look back over the past four years, one admittedly cliche word was the most obvious one to describe this class, and that's our perseverance. Yeah, I know our perseverance is two words, but just stick with me on this one. It's hard to think back and remember life before the pandemic, but this class has experienced so much hardship, even before COVID. As a group, we've been through multiple fires, floods, blackouts, a great toilet paper shortage, and Miss Med's Spanish class. I mean, talk about hardship. And yet still, we persevered. We remain strong. This group has been through more than most people will go through in their entire lifetimes, and you're still teenagers. Poet and civil rights activist Maya Angelou once said, you may encounter many defeats, but you must not be defeated. In fact, it may be necessary to encounter the defeats so you can know who you are, what you can rise from, and how you can still come out of it. Another word is resilient. You've fought through these difficulties. You've lived through the days of praying that pg e will hold off on shutting off your power until after you turn an important assignment in, or more realistically, hoping it would shut off before it's due. <laughs> You've lived through the extra week off school in April. Uh, we were so naive. But despite these difficulties, you've all recovered. You've bounced back. 
The fact that you're all here today says a lot about all of you. And the final word I want to use is sexy. I mean, damn, we are a good-looking class. We'll probably go down as the best-looking class to ever graduate from this school, even with these goofy hats on your heads. Poet and playwright Oscar Wilde once said, and is definitely not taken out of context, quote, that looking good is a necessity. Having a purpose in life is not. So based on those wise words, it seems like you all do fine. <laughs> Most of you probably have a lot of questions, likely in the vein of how will I adjust from going from a Sebastopol 9 to a big city 7. Look, I know I said you were good looking, but like for Sebastopol, don't raise your egos too high. But there are weightier and more important questions as well. Where do we go from here and what will the next years of my life look like and how do you look to the future with hope? at the end of so much hardship and loss. The truth is, it can be hard to think about these things. For some of you, impossible. Thinking about the good of tomorrow while living in the difficulty and uncertainty of today is certainly no easy task. But the lessons you've learned over the past few years, the life experiences you've had, will help you with the tomorrows to come. Over the past few months, and for some of you, the upcoming few, you've all been forced to make decisions. That's another important word. What college you're attending, what job you're getting, where you want to live, the best way to tell your parents that you're planning to stay in their house forever. <laughs> Some of you have also made other life-impacting decisions, such as whether you want the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine. And before you go all like, what about the Johnson & Johnson? That's what I got. Realize that, first off, that's like two of you. And really, do you want to brag about a shot with C average efficacy? I'm of course kidding, but these decisions you made have brought up an important fact, and that's that some of you know exactly what you want to do with the rest of your life, but many of you don't. So don't be afraid to experiment, to extend outside your comfort zone, to do things you enjoy, even if they aren't strengths of yours. As author Henry Van Dyke once said, the woods will be very silent if no birds sang there except those that sang best. As you make your first ventures into the real world, don't be afraid to make mistakes, to have fun, and live a little. Look forward to what is to come, but also make sure to enjoy today. The truth is, you will all do great things, and they may not be what you set out to do. They may or may not be grand actions or make you rich and famous. Who knows, maybe one day, one of you will invent the next life-saving vaccine. Or you might find out how to out pizza the hut. <laughs> or you might invent a robot that can write graduation speeches that don't put any of their listeners to sleep. But you also may not do those things, and that's okay. Even just simply walking across the threshold that is the stage is a great thing. This is a moment of happiness and celebration for all of us, but for many it's also a moment of sadness and reflection. Four years ago, we entered this school for the first time as a student. Many of, many of us remember the feelings of nervousness and lostness. But many of you also remember your first classes, or your first football game, your drama productions, or band performances. You might remember time spent outside of school as well. Time spent with friends, or at parties, or any of the other things that helped form your high school experience. For many of us, it only wasn't about the place or the school but the friendships and memories we made along the way. In many instances, those unfamiliar faces from your first day classes became your friends and close peers. The only thing guaranteed for all parts of life is the end. And this, of course, is no exception. So I want to close my final moments here by simply saying thank you. Thank you to all the families, friends, teachers, faculty, and staff who have supported and shaped this graduating class into the people we are today. Most importantly, I want to say thank you to the graduates here before me. You've all played such an important role in this chapter of my life, and I want to wish you the best wherever your future endeavors will take you. Congratulations, class of 2021.
Now I would like to invite Vice Principal Fry to honor the top 5% of this graduating class. Hello everyone. The graduating class of 2021 is comprised of 287 students. Of those 287, 13 have earned the privilege of placing in the top 5% relative academic achievement and overall grade point average. It is my honor tonight to present those students to you for recognition for their outstanding achievements and contributions to Annalee High School. Graduates, as I read your name, will you please come forward to receive your honorary certificate. These names will be read in alphabetical order. Danielle Bangs. Danielle will be attending UC Davis. She's planning on majoring in neurobiology, physiology, and behavior. Thank you. <laughs> Nicholas Brandt. Nicholas will be attending UCLA, majoring in computer science and engineering. Joshua Erickson. Joshua will be attending UC Berkeley, majoring in mechanical engineering. Fiona Irving Beck. Fiona will be attending Scripps College, majoring in cognitive science. Daniel Judd. Daniel will be attending UCLA, majoring in political science. June Labordet. June will be attending Wesleyan University, majoring in government. Nicholas Leet. Nicholas will be attending UCLA, admitted into applied math and intends on transferring into aerospace engineering. <laughs> Ekaterina Lynch. Ekaterina will be attending UCLA, majoring in classical voice performance with a double major in either English or language studies. Rory Meekin. Rory will be attending Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, majoring in civil engineering. <laughs> Aiden Rice. Aiden will be attending UC Davis and has not decided on a major. <laughs> Ella Silvestric. Ella will be attending Reed College, majoring in psychology. <laughs> India Wade. India will be attending Northwestern University Bynan School of Music, majoring in saxophone performance and music education. Mia Wesselcamper. Mia will be attending UC Berkeley MET program, majoring in bioengineering and business. Congratulations, 5%. Please join me in welcoming your faculty speaker, Mr. Joel Stickle. Hello families and graduates, congratulations. I'm honored to be giving this speech to the last graduating class of Annalee High School, but I never dreamed I would be giving a graduation speech to you all. I'd never dreamed of this possibility, but I have had many 
many nightmares about it. <laughs> In these nightmares, sometimes I'm dressed as a clown. Sometimes I can't move my limbs. Sometimes the graduating class is a bunch of zombies that want to eat my brain. But despite these bizarre variables, the consistent horror in these nightmares is that I'm standing on this stage with a microphone in front of me giving a speech. <laughs> Made abundantly clear from my nightmares, the fact that my voice is quivering right now and that I can hear the sound of my blood pounding in my head. Can you guys hear that too? I hate public speaking. As soon as Mr. Myers asked if I'd be willing to give the faculty speech, I threw up a little in my mouth. <laughs> and then I came up with a dozen reasons why I couldn't do it. So then, if this is so insanely terrifying for me, why am I here? Why am I putting myself through something so uncomfortable? Well, I'm here because I would expect my students to do it. Every year I ask my students to stand up in front of a class of their peers and give a presentation. Nearly half of the graduates before me have had to give a speech or presentation in my classes, and everybody here has had to, to do it in some class or another. And you all had been just as or even more terrified than I am right now. Yet, you did it. How can I ask my students to do it, but then I turn away and hide from it? When I tell my students that I'm an introvert who is terrified of public speaking, they're quick to mention the irony that I speak in front of the class every day often for a lot longer than they would care to listen. I tell them that it is different because speaking to my students in class feels more like speaking to family. So if I were to imagine that I'm giving a graduation speech to my third period class in room 210 on a random Friday in January, right after singing the most awkward and off-key rendition of Happy Birthday, what would I want you all to know before you leave high school? Well, if this was a normal speech during a normal year, this would be the point where I would share some seemingly important life lessons and platitudes. Be true to yourself. Find purpose in life. Find a career where you never think to look at the clock. Read as often as you can. Don't cheat. Be kind. Eat delicious food. Floss your teeth. And don't forget to recycle. I might relay the insight I've gained over this crazy year. Like, if you ever find yourself quarantined during a global pandemic with a wildfire raging to the north of you and another wildfire raging to the east of you and you can't go outside because of the toxic smoke and everything around you looks like an orange hellscape, it is okay to eat the entire pint of ice cream. <laughs> That's actually based on a true story. If this were a normal speech, I would probably make an allusion to Star Wars, the hero's journey, Maybe throw in a quote from Michelle Obama, or Steve Kerr, or Yoda, Thomas Foster. I would perhaps spend some time reflecting on the noble history of Anley High School, the sadness that comes with the loss of this institution, and the hope that springs from new beginnings. And I would tell you how utterly humbling it is to stand before you as you prepare to cross this threshold into adulthood. But this has been anything but a normal year. And so this doesn't have to be a normal speech, right? So allow me to give you this advice instead. If you are ever asked to give a graduation speech, even if it terrifies you and keeps you up at night and makes you question certain life decisions, say yes. Then remember, nobody's actually there to see you. So make it fast and get off the stage. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2021. And now I would like to introduce Principal Shauna Ferdinandson for the presentation of the class of 2021. Thank you, Mr. Stickle. Trustees, staff, graduates, and families, welcome to our class of 2021 Annaly High School commencement ceremony. I have the pleasure of presenting the class of 2021 to our community and school board for acceptance. What a momentous occasion this is. 
Last year, at this time, we were holding a COVID-19 drive through style graduation. And I have to say, we are all so thankful that tonight we can gather together for this year's graduating class. As we come out of this challenging year, our school and district are poised for changes as well. Our 113 year history in Sebastopol is not ending, it's evolving, as all things do when circumstances change. We will always be indebted to the students, staff, and community that came before us as we traverse our new landscape. I would like to take a moment and ask those of you in the audience who graduated from Annalee High School to please stand for recognition. No name change or mascot change can take away the fond recollections and foundational experiences that many of you hold for our beloved school. Yes, we are changing, but while our memories are deeply rooted in the history of this school, our trajectory points toward a new exciting chapter in our ever evolving history. In the paraphrased words of poet Maya Angelou, the horizon is leaning forward, offering us space to place new steps of change as we come together. And speaking of change, this year, we have four staff members who are also graduating into retirement. Susan Blackmer, 23 years of teaching English. Tammy Christensen, 13 and a half years in the district as a health technician. Audrey Leach, English, for 16 years, and Joe Dempsey in our science and math departments for 23 years. This is a collective 75 and a half years of experience. We will certainly be missing their wisdom and experience next year. I hope they stay close to their phones in the fall as we may need help from them. Thank you for your years of service to your students in our school. You will be deeply missed. And now to our 2021 graduates. You have been the most tenacious, hardworking class in recent memory. It certainly hasn't been an easy four years, but here you sit. You have so much to be proud of. I would like to give the audience a chance to see what makes this class so diverse and unique. Graduates. Please stand if you played a sport for our school. Please stand if your team won any titles or championships. <laughs> well, I apologize for that embarrassing moment. Okay, we have one. That's funny. Students, please stand if you joined a club. Excellent. <laughs> Students, please stand if you started a club. Please stand if you took at least one advanced placement class. Graduates, please stand if you were awarded a scholarship of any kind. Our students have earned just under $100,000 in scholarships this year. Please stand, students, if you are planning to join the military after graduation. stand if you never want to be on Zoom again. <laughs> I had a feeling I knew that one. If you are taking a gap year next year, please stand.
graduates, please stand if you sang in the Annelly Choir. Please stand if you are an active member of the Future Farmers of America. Please stand if you have been in band. <laughs> Graduates, please stand if you speak two or more languages. And finally, graduates, please stand if there was someone in the audience who has supported you in the last four years of high school. <laughs> Class of 2021, you have so much to be proud of and to look forward to. High school graduation is a key milestone in your life and your futures are wide open. What do you want your life to look like and feel like? It's truly up to you. You have the power to be made strong by challenges and to be someone who finds a way, no matter what, to realize your dreams. Believe in yourself and lean on the people who know you and love you best over these next formative years of your life. There are so many honorable walks of life and your work over the next many years will be to define what that looks like for you. Believe in the power of hard work and believe in yourself that you are capable of building a meaningful and rewarding life. You will always have the Annalee High School graduating class as your foundation and as you embark on your next chapters, please remember that you have this class sitting right next to you, always in your corner. And remember, it's always a great day to be a tiger. And now, class of 2021, on behalf of the faculty and administration, we wish you the best in your future endeavors. Trustee Noe, it gives me great pride to present to you the class of 2021 for your acceptance. Good evening, students, parents, family, friends, and faculty. It is my honor on behalf of the West Sonoma County Union High School District Board of Trustees to accept the Annalee High School graduating class of 2021. Having completed all of the requirements to receive a diploma or certificate of completion, it is my pleasure and privilege to advance the class of 2021 to the awarding of diplomas. Congratulations. Ms. Elwood and Mrs. Maxson, please announce our graduates. Amatil Rowan Ashley Heron. Zaveva Dal Hon. Kira Bryn de Torres. Dashel Adair Henkel. Nicholas Robert Brandt. Nicholas Viking Williamson Leet. It's okay, it's okay, I got you. And? Julia Riva Golden. Bridget Ann McLarnon. 
Leaf Eric Ashmore Daring. Alexandra Anila Richard Richmond. Logan Alexander Bailey. Alicia Nicole Roberts. Riley Danielle Bello. Nathaniel Yahweh Rushlow. Hope Hall English. India Annabeth Wade. Lee Alvira Franson. Austin Lee Welsh. Rachel Levitt Harris. Mia Rose Wesselcamper. Zane Thomas Kirby. Sol Janae Wright. Elena Malpica Vargas. Henry John Daniel O'Brien Kessner. Tyler Ann Mealy. Trenton Albert John Kohler. Max Leonard Pinecoffer. William Aaron Koenig. Aiden Brand Pryor. Nicholas Dakota Kramer. Isabella Kate Toner Rogers. June Marie Labradette. Diana Victoria Torres Ortiz. Colby Lincoln Lager. Mariana Angelica Trejo. Logan Larson. Emily Rose Boyd. Ivy Danielle Lauk. Leela Louisa Weber. Angelina Serafina Liao. Denise Elaine Whitlock. Alexander Leopard. Jake David Acosta. Dempsey Orion Lofty. Aiden James Adair. 
Ethan Lyon Logan. Hannah Maeve Adair. Steel River Logsdon. Quinton Taylor Adair. Gianna Kathleen Lamato. Rose Nicole Adams. Maria Elena Lopez Rodriguez. Ella Rose Agathon. Daniel Anthony Lopez Solaria. Elena Laney Rose Albert. Emily Luna Vargas. Hillary Lisette Alfaro Valencia. Abraham Hikaru Melispena. Haley Shay Allen. Alonzo Hobbs Mann. Kylie Leanne Anderson. Benjamin Porter McQuad. Alessandra Ruth Anderson. Cassandra Martinez Estrada. Emmanuel Nadakwa Anjay. Riley Ian McCowan. Jacob Daniel Armstrong. Dylan LaRue McGill. Ethan Parker Arrington. Kaylee Ann McGowan. Nicholas Martin Avila Rose. Cole Michael Nakmini. Mac <laughs> Sophia Marie Baker <laughs> Shannon Emily Gail Medina <laughs> Tobias Henry Clark Baker Rainford Rory Narayan Meekin. Andrew Cortez Barnett. 
Amy Rosemary Melman. Ashlyn Renee Baum. Taylor Eames Michael. Danielle Reeves Bangs. Lucas James Miller. Brooke Noel Blanton. Madeline Sky Miller. Brennan Rockwell Blondin. Natalie Dawn Miller. Jesse Eugene Borba. Melita Marie Millward. Alexander Francois Boudreau. Draven Lance Craw Molinaro. Emma Kathleen Bowen. Patrick Michael Raymond Montgomery. Samantha Ray Bowman. Christiana Manuela Moody. Devlin Mick Brady. Sienna Catherine Morell Grant. Kelsey Lillian Braga. Shakira Moreno Burns. Anya Lee Brink. Jimena Moreno Nuno. Kane Robert Brown. Julian Munez Navarrete. Yasha Michael Brook. Nison Baruch Mutandwa. Deja Rose Burry. Jonah Vincent Nadler. Fernanda Via Gomez Calderon. Kimberly Danielle Navarrete. Rylan Cole Campana. Reed Thomas Nelson. Roan Campbell Voss. Analea Mariah Ray Navarez Ocampo. Kylie Del Carlo Capel. 
Atticus Webster Nicholas. Zachary Ryan Case. Priska Felicitas Niedermeyer. Camille Tammy Sepulveda Castro. Tyler Allen O'Brien. Charlotte Kelly Casti. Jennifer Ojeda Luna. Lily Grace Cavey. Giselle Onfray Remijito. Bianca Jeneth Cervantes Olivares. Paris Geneva Faye Oxley. Elijah Ocean Chamberlain. Hunter Bradley Euler. Vicente Diego Chavez. Estrella Rose Pacheco. Brooke Isla Clifford. Molly Louise Parks. Jocelyn Farah Clifton. Armando Para Arias. Violet. Elizabeth Cummins Wilson. Mariana Estefina Para Fernandez. Trey William Cooper. Dylan Riley Pedersen. Taylor Alexia Cover. Michael Austin Kalani Moku Person. Genevieve Rose Helen DeFontaine. Cole Alexander Petzel. Nathan James Demarest. Katrina Polektov. Ian Taylor Demidow. Andre Ann Herrera Ponce. Naya Isabel Dolan. Oliver Pierce Popko. Agape Nina Doflinger. Meredith Sky Houghton. Kieran Patrick Douglas. Ethan Jeffrey Price.
Joshua Wilder Drake. Juliet Ann Price. Avery Jane Duffy. Matilda May Puckett. Colin Harrison Elliott. Sophia Inez Rangel. Sarah Francis Elliott. Shania Alina Rainey. Cheyenne, oh my God, let me do this again. Cheyenne Alina Rainey. Tristan James Elrod. Zoe Lenon Reed. Annalise K. Emerson. Aiden Robert Rice. Jordan Sidney Emerson. Lorenzo Nicolas Robles. Leodin Ashlyn Emirate. Ayla Jude Rodriguez Straub. Joshua Daniel Erickson. Bailey Anise Russell. Daisy Elizabeth Evangelista. Demetrius Eli Salazar. Liam Owen Evans. Jennifer Salcedo. Zachary Stephen Fogg. Laditza Saldana Lopez. Jaya Maria Fajetti. <laughs> Zita Basama Samara. Ziad Basama Samara. Kai Jonathan Forsythe. Julia, Julia Malise Samol. Olivia Renee Franceschi. Imani Ella Brat Sabarito. Annalise Mary Fritz. Isabella Sanchez Rodriguez. Zachary B. Gabriel. Bailey Ann Saxon. Armin Monte G. 
Gayton Moreno. Nakaya Rose Gold Schott. Pedro Edgar Gallardo. Talia Marina Holston Schwartz. Daniela Garcia Dorantes. Christine Rose Seavey. Alexander Garcia Ferreira. Isabella Anna Medina Shears McNabb. Isabella Nayeli Garza. Ian Shine. Alexa Marie Gatmaton. Elijah Siegel. Hannah Grace Guest. Ella Kimberly Silvestrich. Emily Louise Good. Jaden Nicholas Soleil. Sol Richard Goodwin. David Jameson Stewart Kula. Gary Walter Gordon. Stella Rain Kirkham Tapley. Lauren Emiko Graham. Vani Tavria Contreras. Eliana Lee Green. Jose Alejandro Tejida. Ryan Gronick. Parker Reed Temkin. Karina Godinho Rodriguez. Drew Guthrie Tom Thompson. Thomas. <laughs> Natasha Cecilia Gutierrez. <laughs> Zachary Ty Tiemann. Alexis Diana Guzman. Katoa Tugami. Raven William Hale. Abigail Renee Tompkins. Kalila Harper.
Salvador Torres. Gavin Lewis Hartman. Hannah New Tran. Taylor Marin Hatton. Juliana Vallejo. Patrick Hugh Hensey. Olivia Ingrid Van Dyke. Christopher Matthew Hernandez. Howard James Van Lair. Moises Marquez Hernandez. Joshua David Varela Pena. Ramses Marquez Hernandez. Guillermo Vargas Laura. Yahir Hernandez. Pema De Chen. Vasalo <laughs> Natalia Hernandez Arevalo <laughs> Alejandro Verdin <laughs> Johanna Hernandez Reese Jose Julian Fajio Via Gomez. Luz Elena Hernandez Sandoval. Cynthia Villalobos Lopez. Taylor Ann Hirsch. Jacob Lloyd Visser. Elizabeth Marie Hoffman. Yair Osvaldo Vaver Pena. Katie Lee Hughes. Max James Vocal. Cole James Hunter. Trenton Jack Vogel. Mia Kelani Aiko Hurtado. Ryan Elizabeth Wade. Aiden Ellis Hurwitz. Brian Ivan Wagner.
Fiona Ruth Irving Beck. Colin Trong Walker. Lizette Jaimez Camacho. Brianna Marie Wallace. Dakota Juventino Clark Jenkins. Sage Morrison Wild. Jennifer J. Jenks. Isabella Lily Williams. Nestor Jimenez Orozco. Kyle Joseph Williams. Chase Christopher Lee Jones. Olivia Ann Williams. Daniel Irving Judd. Sophia Celeste Williams. Desi Ray Kai. Brendan Isaac Young. Nathaniel Takeshi Post. Kashiwagi. Jacob Ryan Izunza. Connor Samuel K. Scotty Finn Kennedy. Kayla Justine Sinkovich. Jameson Connor Kavalek. The tassel crossing ceremony reminds us of our higher obligations to moral and spiritual values, the crossing over to a new and responsible life. It is a tradition that symbolizes the transition from being a student to being a graduate. Students know one thing. Even though you will be graduating from our school, you will always be part of the Annalee High School family. Students, please stand.
please move your tassel from the right side to the left. Congratulations, Annalee High School, Class of 2021. As we leave the stadium this evening, graduates will recess out through the baseball field and into the gym. Project Grad has a special gift for each graduate inside. Families, please exit the way you entered and meet your graduate between the gyms for a photo opportunity provided by Project Grad. Thank you all for coming and celebrating with our graduates. It is a great day to be a Tiger. Graduates, let's begin.